Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna do a quick video to show you guys a camera that I got from Timu. So this is, I'm not gonna show you my edges, but just know I got it from Timu, I ordered it online. This camera was about $79. It's supposed to be a vlogging camera. And um, this is just how it looks. It's supposed to be 4K. It also came with uh, a double wide lens. I'm not a vlogger. I'm starting out, so I didn't want to spend that much money. Plus, baby, I don't have $700 right now to spend. So I got this camera and it came in a box like this. This is the box that it came in. It's just a Comeri digital camera from Timu and it's supposed to be uh, 4K. It's actually 4K 30 and I'm gonna show you real quick. Okay, so I just turned it on. You just turn it on right here. And then um, this is like, let me see. This is kind of like the quality that you get. I actually think it's pretty good quality for it to have been a $79 camera. Now, um, I'm like I said, I am not a professional vlogger, so I don't know, you know, like what the quality is supposed to look like. But as far as like starting off, I feel like this is a pretty good quality 4K 30, I believe is the highest that it goes. And then you also get the 1080, um, the you know, the normal that's on YouTube, you get the 1080. But um, this is like the quality. Now, there was, I'm gonna kind of get up close and personal so you guys can kind of see like how clear it is you see that so um like i said you get um two lenses i think you get two lenses it's a double wide lens or something i'm recording with my phone but um you get a double wide lens and uh these are the settings right here it's just like typical settings and stuff um and then you also get a battery you get an extra battery it actually comes with two batteries because there's one in there so you get an extra battery with it you get a um, OTG card reader or SD card and you get one two three chargers to go with it and then these are the instructions that it came with so might want to flip through there like I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna flip through here and read it to see exactly what the heck I need to do to get the camera started. Um, but yeah, and then the lenses come with these covers. That's why I said I believe there's two lenses, if I'm not mistaken, or it may just be one, I don't know. But these were the covers that came on the lenses and I just twisted them um, in here. It's actually pretty heavy, pretty sturdy. I feel like it's a good quality camera to start out with, especially for people who are on a budget and you don't have $700 to spend on a Sony or you don't have four or 500 to spend on a Canon. You can go to Timu. Okay guys, so I just wanna say something really quick. Now, just a disclaimer, I did um, get a microphone and everything. You'll see that in my next Timu haul, but this uh, camera, I will say it has issues with the sound even after you get a mic. So just keep that in mind. This is no really just a camera to do some practice. I actually um, gave that to my daughter because I'm not gonna be able to use it. And what I'm gonna do is just save up and invest in the Sony or a Canon, probably M50 or something like that. But um, I do recommend it if you are just trying to get practice in, but as far as trying to actually record and do a video, I don't think the sound is very good. So I just wanted to pop in and say that really quick before the video ended. And yeah, um, I don't really recommend it if you are doing serious, if you're seriously thinking about vlogging, just save up and you know purchase a normal uh, Sony camera or something like that, it'll be worth it. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I'm sorry, y'all. You probably would have to vlog like this, like if you wanted to get a front shot of yourself, which is quite annoying. So I, I wish it would flip like over or something like that, but it doesn't. So that's one of the downsides about the camera. Like it doesn't flip over. You have to kind of like hold it like this and point it at yourself when you're recording. So I don't know, I, I don't think I would probably do that because if I'm vlogging out in public, I don't wanna be walking around with the camera, the big camera lens in my face like that. Um, so yeah, and then I probably will invest in like a selfie stick or something like that to hold it, one of those vlogging sticks that they have, but I don't know if I wanna spend $99 on that. 
especially given how my bank account has been looking these days i don't think i'm gonna spend 99 dollars or 100 dollars for a stick i can just go on amazon so yeah um but you guys if you are looking for a vlogging camera for the low i would recommend this one just be careful with um how you know the ones you choose like i said i'll try to leave the direct link to this because there were some that looked like this but there were complaints about it saying that the screen wouldn't turn on that the quality looked like it was from 2006 you know stuff like that so judging from this it has um all the settings like i said 4k 30 and then when you cut it on it just says comeri and when i take and this is with the film on it so just imagine if i take the film off of this the quality is going to be pretty pretty good so yeah let me okay y'all let's let's see how it looks with some products in front of it so let's see so if i was vlogging and I was showing like a run through of my products or something like that. It would kind of, you know, kind of sort of look like this. Like, you know, when you're showing the lashes. I'm sorry, y'all, like stuff is out of focus. But, you know, when you're showing the lashes or whatever, this is kind of like the rotation that you'll get with this camera. So, yeah, if y'all are interested, I think you guys should check out Timu and pick you up a vlogging camera. And I actually think I saw this one on Amazon, but it was for like a hundred and something dollars. This I got for 79 plus Timu gives you like, I think 80% off if you spend the wheel. I think I got like 80 or 90% off because I spent the wheel when I first got on the site. And so I only ended up paying maybe like $30 for this camera, y'all. $30 for this camera, um, $9 for the selfie stick. And then I picked up um, two of these bitter peaches just because I wanted to see like, you know, if they actually smelt like the Tom Ford. And I don't, I don't recommend getting these. Like, don't get these. If you see this on Timu, it smells like old lady. Like, don't get it. Um, I'm probably gonna just give these away or something like that because there's no way, I, it, there's no hint of peach in this at all. But anyways, yeah, if you guys are interested, I'm going to leave the information down below and you can start off with a cheaper vlogging camera. So thank you all for watching and I will chat with you later.